Hi, welcome. Great to see you again. So you ready for the second stage of the pretzels or the number four legs to help open up that lower back and those sacral iliac joints in you, where your hips join your spine. Let's see how we get on. So last week we were just checking that you could get your feet and your knees opening up. So we're lying comfortably. We're going straight for, because we remember we know where we're going. We're going to be opening up lower back, but that's including a lot of stretching in round here. So building from this basic position, you may find that if you move your foot further up or further down, further over or further over this way, you start to release different parts of the thigh muscle and that's all good stuff. So remember, if that was enough for you, stick with that this week. You can build up to this stretch in the future but what we're going to do now is take it another level. So I've got my nice number four. My knee is nice and open. Everything feels comfortable enough. What I'm going to do is reach round and I can either pull the back of my leg and just start bringing that in. Or I can put my hand over the front of the knee. If that's not comfortable, we can use toys. So, good old stretchy diner band. Can use that to bring you in. If you haven't got one of those, you could try a belt. This is actually a yoga belt, but any belt will do. And you can use that to bring your knee in. Or if you haven't got a belt that's comfortably long enough, you could use a folded up towel. So you just use that bring your knee in. Any way that is going to be comfortable for you. I'm going to show off because I don't need those and I also don't want things to get in the way. So what we're doing is we're bringing the knee in. Now we're trying to get as close as we can and I can really feel this in here at the moment on this side. And what we do is we try and hold it until we start to feel more relaxed, which is why sometimes using a, a tool like a belt or a diner band or a towel can help because then we're not reaching with our upper body and maintaining tension. We can allow the whole body to relax and settle in. I can also feel stretch on the inside of the bent leg, but nothing on this leg at the moment. This feels all very, very comfortable. So just check my foot's in a good position and my body's nice and straight and just allow the body the length of time it needs to release off. Now remember, muscles can take up to five minutes to release. They're a little bit like cold elastic bands sometimes. If you pull them too quickly, too hard, they'll snap. That is not ideal. So it's much better to slowly warm the muscle, just slowly asking it to release some more. As you can see, I'm by the fire, so I am proper toasty right now. It's great. Anything to keep warm and comfortable. So that's all we need to do for this side. And remember what we do on one side, if it's possible, if we've got two knees that are happy with this, we then bring in the other knee. Now remember you can come under the thigh if that's more comfortable. If, you, if your knees are tight and don't like being tightly folded, Coming under here is a lot more comfortable if you've had a knee operation or something. Um, I actually find it, because my knees bend easy, I prefer this, I find it more comfortable for my upper body. But see what works for you. Now, interestingly, on this side, my right leg is much happier than my left leg was. It's much more fluid. It's not really giving me any gyps, so I'm gonna pull in a little bit tighter. And now, now I can just feel it on the center of my buttock in a straight line down. So I shall sit, release until it's happy. But I won't make you sit and watch that. So see how you get on. Always work within comfort. Work slowly. If you have any pre-existing medical conditions, make sure you've got the support and the, the uh, guidance also from your specialist, medical specialist. But if you're working in those ways, 
we're soon going to be having you feeling much more fluid and more relaxed. Have a great week and I'll see you next week.